This is the Edge for Game Edge, and we are back in Prison Architect. This is Season 1, Episode 3, and yes, uh, well, we did pretty well, actually. The only thing left for you now to do is to get Cell Block A uh, grant, as we get our $20,000, and that's going to be pretty easy to do. Right now, our prisoners are inside the jail cells. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, we can correct all these kind of things. Um, what did I jump there for? That was kind of strange. Uh, we can actually do a regime right here. We can change what times. So right now it is 11 o'clock, so they are in lockup. This is a lot of lockup time. Uh, but right now we have no other space. The best place for these guys to be is in, in lockup, but this will start being a problem once you get too much. They're going to want free time. They're going to want to build. Uh, they're going to want things to do. Uh, oops. This door is not. There we go. That's good. All right, so our cooks are cooking over here. Yep, that's good. Uh, we don't need trash cans. We have some out there. It's okay. It's good. Let's conserve some money. We have, what, $33,000? It's pretty good. Our showers are there. All connected. It's good. A courtyard. A courtyard is missing some key things here. Uh, we're actually going to have to add some of that. Just to keep these guys busy, we're going to add some weight benches. I'm not sure if that's really a good idea to get these guys more bulk, but any kind of physical fitness will help. Um, so we're going to try and keep these guys nice and healthy, I guess. <laughs> That's all we really need. We'll put it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right now it's not pretty, I know, but the, the key to this right now is that we actually can at least uh, get these guys busy when they're going to the courtyard. They won't be so angry. They'll be actually in a better mood. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. All right, let's get it done. Uh, so our guys right now are gone off to get that. They're also collecting wood. He knocked out a tree here. That's good. So next step we need to do is put a foundation here. And I'm thinking right about here. Uh, let me spend that much money. 16. No, we don't need to go that big either. Because I'm thinking the showers is fine where they are. Let's go 17. Let's not spend too much money we don't need. And that should be good for this. Uh, what we can do, ooh, pause this baby up. What we can do is also add, to make this a little bit faster for these guys, a staff door here. Yeah, because later on we'll be able to join this. Right now, only people can come in and out to this is actually staff, so I don't know if that's actually a security risk. In a way, I guess it is, but you still have to go through here and go and you know, it seems to be really complicated for them to still escape. So we'll leave it like that, we'll give it a shot. And what we'll do is start laying that roll. Now the workbenches are coming. We can actually, well, there's security guards there. Let them do a job. And right now we have only three security guards, right? Is that what we have? Uh, where is it again? Jobs. One, two, three, opening door, queue. And staff, right now we have, wow, we can actually fire them from here now. I didn't realize that. He's tired. Staff room. Oh, so it brings you directly to the guys. Oh, that's cool. So right now we have three security guards. One of them is extremely tired. Going to need a staff room. It's definitely going to need it. There you go. Just going to build that up. We do, once the prisoners are gone into the courtyard for the little, uh, the little time there, these guys should start building this part. And what we're going to do, we'll start building outwards here towards uh, this part. We'll actually knock down this wall and it'll be one straight row. That will give us our 15 uh, prisoners right here. Uh, capacity to get to self block a grant, which would be awesome. So we're going to sell this piece of wood over here. Uh, let's make some cash. There we go. That sounds good to me. All right, so it's cool. So these guys are going to build this out. Same time, we've got the benches out there. That's good. Prisoners are gone to eat. And we should start looking. Ooh, that power station. We need a capacitor again. It's going to run out of power or else we don't need that right now. Should probably invest in two. That way we don't have to run around in case we run out of cash. And we are going to get a $20,000 grant very shortly, so why not do it? And we're getting an influx of new prisoners uh, to the actual prison. So we are still only going to do intake right now of prisoners. It's going to be, where's the intake right now? We have, we're taking six that are medium and two that are minimal security. So uh, minimal security and medium security are best. We could actually up this up, I think, now. And they will give us more if we could take more. Oh, they don't give it to us yet. No. Okay, well, for now, I guess this maybe next round. Usually they do take it. Maybe there's some kind of requirement that we don't have. Maybe sub block it needs to be built and then we're okay. 
So that's cool. These guys have left this door open. What a bunch of idiots. This should be fired for right there. I'm leaving garbage out. All right, so there's still Billy over here. We're going to go out and start looking. I'm creating a staff room. I'm trying to think where would it be the best place for a staff room. What is the requirements for that? Where is it? Room. Staff room. Office. Common room. That's for these guys. Visitation. Where is the staff? Parole. Staff room. There we go. It needs to be 4x4. Four four. I think I think they can do it this hallway here. This needs to be 4x4, four four, but we can give them a little more room. Maybe there would be more guards and stuff. Um... Yeah, let's build that over there. Let's build a nice little place there. Uh, that thing is the best place because it's going to be in front. At least too, if there's any kind of issues, we can actually use them. There we go. Let's make the same kind of uh, look here. And we'll bring this across here. So it's going to be a little bit bigger than usual. We can only switch it up afterwards. It's not a big deal. Anything you build can be destroyed and rebuilt somewhere else. I mean, it's the way it goes. This is what's great about this game. Uh, you can do whatever you feel like. Just build your heart up. Uh, I hate that when you do that. You press that and you don't show the outline. Okay, now we're getting a problem right here. Just with staff. We need to invest in another uh, security guard here. Or security guard. Oh. I guess so. Prison guard is what I meant to say, but... Hell, I wouldn't want to do that job. So they're going to build out to there, and we're going to build up to here, right? Is it it? How do I do that again? I'm oh, brain fart right now. Right up to there. Okay. I thought these guys would build a little faster. Maybe if I actually up to the speed. That would be helpful. So there's some of the guys here now moved over here. They're going to build over here. That's great. Cool. Let's slow it down a bit and then build the room that we need. Let's get the staff room going. And we're going to make the staff room with a door on it also. I need a staff door. We'll rotate that. There we go. Requirements what? Wide sofa and drink machine. Okay, let's get that sofa and a drink machine. Sofa. It's not so easy sometimes. Wide sofa. There we go. Let's give these guys a little uh, perk. Two-seater. Someone wants to lounge out. A drink machine. Let's rotate the drink machine. There we go. A little drink machine. A garbage can, because I don't feel like I can cans all over the ground. So let's do a little bin here. And let's add, uh, since these guys have to kind of rest and relax, which I guess everybody does in our day here. Where is it? Radio. We can worry about that afterwards, actually. You know what? They can just go and chill out there and talk with each other. Let's think about it. I got a little TV right here. Plasmas now? You can't bring the TV anywhere else but those angles? Okay. I should have put the couches on the inside. side. Always let it be. Uh, we'll just put a radio inside. That'll be good enough for these guys. Uh, I don't even know if it makes a big difference. It must. There we go. A little radio. So they can hear some stuff. Music. That's cool. So they're coming in with a drink machine. Let's help them out. Because it doesn't look like our security guards are doing anything else. But look at this guy. What a lazy son of a bitch. I'll let him do his job, actually. We're paying him. Uh, we got some extra wood here. Let's sell this baby up. It's selling much, but it's $150. Stack. Pays for stuff. That's cool. Okay, here we're going to need to bring in the utilities, which are very important. Uh, now, again, these are going to be prison cells, so large pipes, I want to keep them as far away as possible from the actual prisoners. Uh, let's take that away. Um, the prisoner cells, I mean. Again, they can escape from this, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. If you're wondering, you're going, why are you doing that, man? It's because you've got, you got no choice right now. You have to be able to 
build, but you also have to build with a conscience that these guys want to escape from you. And this will bring down here. I'm also bringing down here. We got capacitors coming in. That's good. So that's electrical. And that should be good. We also need a door to go in there. So oops, oops, oops. So I need to demolish a wall, material, demolish wall. Hopefully, I mean, I've seen these guys actually go through walls before, but hopefully this demolishes and they'll bring it through and they should be able to finish up the rest of it and it'll be open. This won't open up until you actually do it. So if you right click, you'll cancel it all. So you want to avoid that. Now the guys are all here. They're no one's using the weights. Maybe I missed it. Why aren't you guys exercising? Jeez, it's a guys, big courtyard. Is that gate open? I thought the gate was open. All right, start doing that so we can get this going. We just heard a bell. What do we have? What do we have here? What do we get? Extra grant approved. Okay, so we can do three grants at once, which is good. Let's go and take a look at our grants. We take a third grant right now. Prison maintenance. So we have uh, 10,000 unlock maintenance, unlock cleaning, unlock groundskeeping, hire foreman, that for 15,000. Bingo, we'll take that. Stamp of approval on that one. Feed all prisoners. So far we're doing good. Everything is all fed. People are doing good. This is a good, 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 good job. Good job. So he's installing lights, it's good. All right, let's bring this up a little faster. We're getting new prisoners in 15 hours. We're doing good. Oh, we're doing okay. A lot better than usual. In the staff room, so at least the staff cannot be so tired from just standing around. And we have a problem here. Stall pipe is a problem. Why is that? Really? Let's put it back in and see if that helps. Let's see if these guys can do it now. It should be blocked at all. They have they have room to go in there and hit the wall. I mean, I have no idea why they'd be blocked. I don't get it. They're done because that's important. I need that. No, it's still blocked. Shit. I never had a blocked issue. Okay, let's change this up. So since this, all this water is pumping so close, we'll bring it down from here into here that should work okay that's cool okay let's start building up the walls here while these guys are wasting their time doing that concrete walls uh we want to do what did we do last time for rooms for sales here what was that size it was two by three is that it one two th one two th one two three that's it so let's do two by three here Let's keep it even, Steven. Oh, it doesn't look like it's very even, but it's okay. That's fine, that's fine. What do you want to do? It can't be perfect sometimes. We can actually uh, utilize that to expand afterwards. I just leave them open. Sometimes it does happen. Can't always be perfect. This doesn't make sense at all, actually. Uh, the wall comes out. Yeah, it does. It's just without the walls, it looks kind of weird. All right, let's put up the walls. So what we're going to do is, on this one, we're going to drop it by one. And there we go. One. Whoops. You don't need to go that far. And the same thing over here. We're going to actually drop it by one. So we're going to drop one here. There we go. Pretty much an L shape. Capital L and a... Small L, there you go. See, just very simplistic. Lines are really across here. Same thing, and you can build any way you want, of course. It's always your choice, guys. I mean, that's what's fun with this game. You buy it, you kind of chill out. You keep spending an afternoon to night just building this baby up. Yeah, this kind of sucks, this part. Might as well fix that after. It's not a big deal. We're not going to die from it. All right, so these guys are good here. This is good. And that's how we're going to bring in the beds. And I'm going to do a lights. So lights... Because we're going to dismantle some lights here. Might as well put them back up. There's one there. There's one there. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So prisoners are kind of here all by themselves. Where are these guys going? 
They're using this door to come around now. Okay, whichever way works. It means you guys are building, I'm all cool with that. Let's get the bed going here. We'll be able to accept our other prisoners, which is exactly what we want to do here. How's our prior? We have $30,000. We're doing good here. <laughs> We're doing really good in cash. See y'all with the grants. And then uh, we're gonna flip this around. We'll put the toilets over here. Again, you know what, you have a choice. You're gonna get some high end for your snitches. I think I said it last time, but um, it's important that you know that you can actually put showers and bookshelves and it. it does increase you know, how happy the prisoners are. And you don't wanna give that to everybody though. And that's a problem is some of these guys it so you just choose what you want and you'll see as this picks up now we're gonna have quite a bit of guys who are gonna come in and it's gonna, be, it's gonna get rough it's really gonna get rough okay this is just a waste of pipe now i just did a huh? shit is that even flowing water through it i don't even see the water going through yeah it is okay barely see it um wait wait toilets are here I don't think you need to do like that, but that's okay. Bring it to the other one. The best is small pipes. Again, I've had prison breaks where the actual guys have gone through the pipes. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. And that's the best way is to make sure the small pipes don't correlate the big pipes. It doesn't mean that they're not going to happen, but they are going to happen. So miles will make sure we don't happen. And look at this stuff. Oh my god, you didn't finish the walls, boys. It's okay. All right, so we got food going with that, so that's good. We have enough power. How's our power now? We put two new capacitors, and there we go, we're okay. It's kind of hovering right there. It's kind of, it could be lower, but it's fine. I mean, it's not gonna hurt if we actually wanna throw in one more. We're okay with cash, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just be safe. Uh, we don't want to block it. I mean, it's, you get riots and stuff that can occur, so we might as well have it all going. Again, these guys are grabbing all the deliveries and bringing them over here and then dropping over here. We have way too much stock. Way too much stock. All right, so we got the gym going here. We have that. We actually have the guards room, which is working. We have a little guard in there who's been taking his time and relaxing. And that's good. Okay, so we've got a guard. He's finished. He's all ready to go. He's all healthy. Cool. All right, so what's left we have to do here? Um, we're almost done. This is approved now. Security is approved. Cool, cool, cool. That's what it is. Okay, now we have security approved. Wait a second. We want deployment. So we built the, yeah, that's it. We want the, actually the ability to deploy some of these guys. So what it does right now, it allows you to, uh, to uh, permanently station guards to a sector of a prison. So I, pretty much I can click off the guards now and say, I want you to be right here. And I want you to be over here so you can actually have them stick. Also, I'm wasting their time here. We have one, two, three guards here. No one in a yard uh, protecting it. So drugs be thrown over the fence. Uh, again, there's nobody in the front yard, which should be right in the front protecting it. So there's quite a bit of um, security breach issues right now, which I'm sure drugs are probably full in this place. All right. The other thing we can do, which I usually like to do, I'm not sure if you uh, if you guys would, but we'll see us here. This is a middle meta detector that works really well. Bad placement though, this sucker, every time. I can never get a good place for it. What it does is uh, every time they pass through, just what they think, so if it beeps, the guards will start searching them. But it does need power, so you have to make sure it is connected directly. So electric cable, and we can just bring that around here, make it easier to hang to go through a wall, and they'll bring that through. All right, guys, it's good. So this is all done. We need gel cells. We need some doors. Regular doors here. Two, three, four. Five. And that should end up our grant right there. Once the doors are on there, because when these things flash again, it pretty much explains everything. Enclosed surrounded area by walls and doors. Uh, you actually need a door here, so you're all good. So here they come, and we'll be, should be all good to go. And once these guys are all there, as long as security guards are following through, and we want that big grant here of $20,000. And what do we get? What just happened? 
Requirement is chief. Whoops. Oh. Oh, we need to hire. I forgot. We need to hire a chief. Chief of guards, man. There he goes. He's in there. And that should actually roll it out. There we go. Yeah, deployment's there. Good. So we're going to actually start doing other things too. So we're going to use like $2,000 to make more money, which is our new grant we have. We want groundskeeping and this, and we need to hire a foreman. So now we need more office space. Always need more office space. Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit. Did we get the 20,000? I think we did, eh? Yeah, we did. Booyah. All right, so yeah, we're doing okay. So I need more office space over here. That's good. So it's very dirty. Look at the floors. Uh, again, that's where we need the janitor here. All this is flooring issue is all that dirt. And we do need the janitor. So let's get going on that. Uh, we're going to need filing cabinet. Over here. And a chair. And we're going to put a desk right there. There we go. Let's get that rolling. And our prisoners are coming in soon. It's all the small details. Once it starts rolling, we start having this lot bigger. It's going to start being, you know, taking care of what's going on in our prison. Uh, have a shakedown for all these prisoners. You'll see, uh, you can actually just do a full shakedown on this. It's really cool. Bang up over here. Which sends all willing prisoners back to their whistles. And it will take your prisoners very, uh, make your prisoners very angry. And you have uh, them locked up for too long. And locked down here is instantly locked down the prison. So if you're starting riots, you can hit that. Shake down here on the bottom right. Again, it's uh, just a shake down. Find out if you have any drugs or uh, you know, it noise. Like it says, it will, take, it will annoy the hell out of your inmates. But you can actually find drugs, shanks, and other kind of issues. That's why this is actually very handy. And when they'll pass through and it goes beep, beep, uh, the, actual, the actual guards, if they're nearby, will actually stop them and check them out. Okay, so we got that everything there? Yes, we do. Let's slow it down a bit. And staff. We got the workmen. And now we have four men. Let's put them in his office. Not make him guess which one he has to go to. That's perfect. And now we should have both these going at full throttle. Prison labor here. This is kind of cool too. It allows you to put prisoners to work around your prison. Cooking, cleaning, saving you staff wages, earning you money, and teaching your prisoners new skills at the same time. Also unlocks workshop and laundry. So this is also a very important one. We can actually let it work on. If we got the cash, these are kind of cool things you want to start getting going. Kind of cool unlocks lawyers. We're going to hire for a staff toolbar. Unlocks numbers of research options that can give you greater control over your prison. Like administration, he requires office work. So we have actually an office uh, desk. You actually go legal rep, uh, legal defense, which actually will lower some issues here. Uh, you also have parole in this game too. Uh, death row, which is really cool. We can actually start getting death row prisoners and actually bring the electric chair into. Well, it's not cool for the prisoner, but it's cool for us. So obviously we are working in a state that actually, you know, takes care of the, the bad ones with some death penalties. So we're going to take care of that. Good. All the doors are locked here. We've got a lot of guys doing absolutely nothing. So pretty much we're waiting for prisoners, aren't we? I'm trying to think what else we can put in here. I don't want to waste too much cash. I know we have to expand back. But the next step will be taking the next grant, which is cell block B. Cell block B is a little more difficult than his own, as you can figure. Now we need to raise prisoner capacity to 50. So that's a quite of a large leap. Uh, you have education. These things are very much the same thing. Visitors rights. So this can actually do a visitation center. That's pretty cool. Pool table. I have pool table and at least two TVs building at least five phone booths. So this could actually be pretty simplistic to do to make an extra few bucks. Again, we could make the big bucks and go for that. I'm thinking we're only ready to do little things. We need visitation rights. Let's grab that money. And what we'll do is we have to figure out where we're going to build that actual place. I'm trying to think. Where can we build that? it got to be in between both. We can't leave them outside. We can't leave the visitors come too far in. And this would probably be the best area over here somewhere. And what's the visitation rights? Here, visitation... Which room doesn't make a difference to size, really? Huh. Okay, well, we'll make that one in front. 
much room is that right here? So we have 13. We're going to leave a space in the middle, so it's 12, and that brings us to 6, and then we have a wall to build. So if, let's do a 5x5 five five room. That might be too small. Let's do it 5x10. Uh, that way we can have all the prisoners happy. Because we're trying to build a parole next to it. That doesn't need to be very big. That's a good idea. And uh, the actual parole itself is a little room. It needs to be 5x5. Five five, so this should be... I'm not building anything right now. I'm just checking to see. Yeah, that's plenty. That's beautiful. Alright, let's get up those walls. Also put brick here. This one's just gonna be a hallway in between. And here we're gonna leave the doors right there. That's cool. We're gonna need to put some stuff in that. Objects. What is it again? It needs visitation tables. Visitor tables. Visitor tables. So let's see those class, cafeteria, school cafeteria kind of seats. Where are they? Sorting desk. No, 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 no. I always have a hard time finding these things. Might as well type it in. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just holding it back. Might as well just type it in. Okay, so what we're going to do is visitor tables. So this would probably be best to rotate these babies up. As you can see, we have very little privacy. Okay, that's good. And then we're also going to have to add a door. We're going to have to do a jail door. I do that because the prisoners couldn't, can't escape. And it happened to me once only. I'm not sure if it was a glitch or not. The prisoner actually got up here and just ran for it. Uh, but again, that's her best bet. Is to put a little jail door here. That way you can let in the prisoners, just like in real life. You, uh, you can go to visitors, but it's actually locked up. It's still a secure area. It needs to be. So that's good. So this is it. There we go. We should be okay with that. That should be good. And then we're going to be receiving new prisoners in four hours from now. We're ready to go. Our capacity is okay. We can fit here. We have eight prisoners. We can fit 20. So we're doing really good. We're doing really good. It doesn't seem to be too many issues so far, but we might get issues. Danger. Overall danger level of your prison, according to your security chief, the danger level is low. Beautiful. Let's keep them happy. Let's add one more cook. Uh, we are getting more prisoners, which means more work. And the more work means we need to start getting these cooks rolling. So they can actually stockpile their stuff here, which is good. The place looks like shit. And we're going to be six hours, three hours for cleaning left. And we have deployment. So that's it. We're going to end it here. And we're going to do next episode, we're going to start receiving all our prisoners. And we have our visitors tables just sliding in now. And the guy should be building that. And maybe if you did your job there, buddy, can you just realize somebody was coming up in our building here? And what happens is the guys will build a last bit of table and we complete this part of it. And we still have to unlock right here, where is it? Uh, health and well-being. So medical ward and lot we still have to do. Hire these two janitors and hire a gardener. Uh, these two will pass through is okay. Common room, which is a room where the guys can all play and do their stuff. We can actually make that outside too with pool tables. We can actually utilize the space of our yard. If we want to make a common room here on the outside. Uh, or right in the middle here. We'll figure out something. A little room that they can actually go to. Because we've got a big yard, but that was just for initial, just to seal out that area. So maybe we'll do something there. That sounds like a plan. All right, thank you for joining us, guys. This is The Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs>